people over here it didn't treat us good. You know, they make it all kind of uh, ways to get the time from us. But I want to prove My earliest memories of Azuma Nelson, wow. Um, being very little but always wanted to wake up 3 to 4 a.m. to watch those fights. Any fight that would happen in the neighborhood we would call it Azuma versus Gomez. <laughs> those are some of my earliest memories. It was, it was, uh, he had captured all our imaginations and anything that Azuma did when it came to fights and bouts. I mean, it, it was more than a Black Stars match. My favorite Azuma fight. It has to, I mean, I think emotionally, my memory of his final fight with Jeff Fennec has to be the one. I think that was the, the Thunder Down Under or something. The one he stopped him. Three knockdowns. I remember. I think that's my favorite because they had this, this respectful but competitive rivalry. So it was the second fight, and that was going to be determining who was going to win that rivalry. And it, it was such a, it was a huge deal. And I mean, I, I definitely think that's my favorite Azuma fight because um, it, it personified how he was able to overcome an enemy territory. <laughs> As a Ghanaian, Azuma Nelson for me represents an icon, a legendary figure, the best ever African boxer, a Hall of Famer, somebody who whose aura in and out of the ring represented greatness that people could aspire towards. So me and my big mouth, I decided to do a track called Azuma Nelson Flow. I called it that because uh, what I tried to do in that track is to hold no punches. Uh, we also sampled his voice at the beginning. You know, his post-fight interviews were so epic and he used to say some of the most epic things and how he wasn't treated well, but still overcoming. I was shooting my shots, as you would say, <laughs> hoping the legend would give me time. But he was so gracious with his time, came through to the video, spoke kindly, was, I mean, I was, I, I was tongue-tied the whole time and even afraid that you say, hey, five minutes, I'm going. But he was, he was just gracious with his time and his conversation with the people around. We were all excited and uh, just for him to be able to... You know, he made what was supposed to be a cameo and even a more significant cameo and I'm just honored and I, I think it's, it's amazing to see somebody that legendary and that significant as a Ghanaian, that great, not be working around with airs but to keep inspiring us even at this stage and to be helping young ones like myself. So, Sam. The professor, thank you. Fresh record, I speak my piece, I'm a beast, no peace. I call the penis a sword. I'm a samurai, of course, I'm a tall up by the job, you rest the show.